Hi guys, in this video, I'll be transforming this regular Windows desktop to a unique and stylish Outlook with a little touch of Mac in it as well. Without wasting much time, we go straight to the point. First thing you want to do is to get rid of this desktop icon. By doing that, you just want to right click on desktop here, go up to view, select this show desktop icons. Okay, now as you can see, everything is clear here. We don't have any icons on our desktop. And not to worry, your icons are not deleted. You can reverse the same procedure and get your icons back. So now we proceed to the next step. You go onto your browser here, I'm using Google, by the way now in rainmeter.net these among all the links we'll be using in this video will be shared in the description okay just want to click on this download icon i'm not going to download because i already did that so now we'll proceed to our file explorer and here in our download where they have this rainmeter setup all you have to do is to go on here alight it right click on this setup and run as administrator click ok standard installation next install and finish now once installation is complete you have to right click on these and on load screen do the same thing for the remaining three just on load screen on load screen all right after installing Remeter, we have to go back again to our browser. And again, I'll be leaving all these links in the description for you guys. Now we're in DeviantHeart.com. And um, here we have Big Saw RC1 for Remeter by Fidia Fidia. Shout out to Fidia Fidia, by the way. And first thing you want to do is to ensure you have created an account on DeviantHeart. Okay, create an account and log in first. Then you'll be able to download files from here. So having done that, you just go down here to this arrow icon then click on download so once download is complete we're gonna add on to our file explorer again we'll go to our download as you can see here we have this big saw rc1 which has been downloaded from deviantheart.com okay so we're just gonna extract this file but you're just gonna right click on this raw file then since i'm using winrar i would just go on to winrar and extract here you can use extract all if you want but i'm gonna use winrar to extract so let's extract here now we're going to double click on this big saw right here just double click on that install now we get this pop-up first thing you want to do is to toggle off this 24h celsius toggle it off and toggle this off as well because i'm going to use the dark mode which you can change later if you want just going to proceed to apply theme select that and here we have two options um if you highlight on this you have classic and if you go on here you have this compact sidebar i'm going to go for this classic on the left side so i'll just left click on that now as we can see here we have this ready made um big saw skin here we are going to do some customization on this later but first we're going to get one more ready meter skin and we're going to add on back to our browser head on to github.com here we're going to download drop top um, it's very easy to download here just click on this and you'll be good to go so once you're through with download here yeah, we're going to head on back to our file explorer here in this download folder i have this drop top basic version just proceed to double click on that and install yeah just click on continue here yeah, i'm choosing the english us version so i'm just gonna click on that and continue all right all of all the three options here i'm gonna select a desktop only just click on that uh, this is sample guys you can put any location of your choice uh, you can put your location i just put this continue it says choose a home button so i'm gonna select this apple logo and continue Right, of all these options, we want to choose Big Sore uh, because that's what we're working with right now. So select Big Sore and select maybe later finish setup. The first thing you want to do is select skip tutorial. As you can see, we have this hopper bar here. Now we're going to begin the customization. Okay. First thing you want to do is to go on here, right click on this bar and, and adjust size settings, select 100%. Now, as you can see, this bar is not looking so big and obvious. Now, we proceed to go on here, right click on this three dot and remove unwanted icons. Okay, so I'm going to left click on this and toggle this off. I'm going to do the same on this, toggle it off. And this is your choice, guys. Whatever you think is not useful for you, just toggle it off. And then I'm going to do right here. Okay. On this right side, I'm going to right click on here. I'm going to do the same here. Toggle this off, toggle this off, toggle it off, toggle it off. I'm just going to leave these three here for now. That's it about that. I'm going to drag this to the left a bit. 
we have the time here the date and we have this news highlight right here i'm gonna make some few changes here guys you can do this to your taste okay it's exactly how you want it but first i'm gonna get rid of some of these and i'm gonna rearrange some others and this is the launcher i'll put it on the side there Whatever item you don't need, just right click on it and close, right click, close, right click, close. So now I'm going to add some more items right here at the bottom part. To do this, we have this launcher, click on it and here I'm going to go onto the widget and select this and this, okay. I'm going to drag this down here too the side all right okay put it down here a bit having done that i'll go on to the shortcut here you have few of these icons which you can select i'm gonna make some choice here so i'm just gonna drag these icons to this side here Drag that down a bit. I'm gonna select one more. If it is too close to the edge, so I'm just gonna move it to this side. Here on the right side, we have this well arranged widgets. We're going to proceed to go to extras, select extras, and I'm going to choose this. Here we have this big rounded, which we're going to put on the background there, but we're going to adjust the size of it and just right click on this, select settings. Under opacity, reduce it to about 51. Okay. Having done that, you go to the width, we're going to put it on 400. And we go to the height under the height we're going to change this to 880 once that's done just click on this and just drag it over this just ensure it's well placed there and even all right haven't done that we just go to settings here and we have these height labels if you look at these labels we have all the names here just go ahead and toggle that on and once you do that you see that we don't have the names there anymore so it looks more professional that way having done that you're just gonna x on this just to close this launcher so at this point we're gonna head on to change this wallpaper i already provided this wallpaper and guys you can use any wallpaper of your choice okay so proceed to go to the link which i've provided and just download it so once that is complete we go back to our download and here i already have this wallpaper and just right click on it and set as desktop background now as you can see we have this beautiful looking um, desktop with this nice wallpaper we're not done yet let's proceed to right click on this desktop go on to personalize down here under your colors select your colors under the choose your mode just select this arrow down and select dark that's gonna leave us with a dark taskbar we're still not done yet guys now we proceed to our microsoft store here in microsoft store just go ahead and search for rounded tv and we have this select that and select install now the installation is complete just click on open click ok let me minimize this and drag this to the center we select advanced you're gonna select dynamic mode show system tree on over fill taskbar when maximized fill taskbar on alt plus tab and i'm gonna slide this until 10 then select apply once you click on apply you're gonna see that we have this small rounded taskbar right in the middle here and when you over to the corner here you're gonna see the remaining part of your taskbar okay now we just proceed to close this for me this looks good enough but i'm gonna take it one step further okay i'm gonna make this transparent just add on back to your microsoft store just type translucent tv just click on that select install 
Once installation is complete, just click on open and continue. Now we can close this. Now as you can see guys that we have this transparent taskbar in the middle right here and when we hover to the side we have the remaining part of our taskbar and I believe this looks better with transparent taskbar. So that's it about that guys. I hope you had some fun while doing this. I'll be waiting for your comment at the comment section. And remember to subscribe to this channel and turn on your notification so you can get notified when I post content like this. Have a nice day. See you in the next video and peace.